Hello! Today I'm talking about something I don't normally talk about. I'm not talking sort of factual stuff. We're going to get a bit more philosophical on things. And I'm going to talk about confidence, uh, particularly the issue in a gym setting. But of course all this stuff is transferable to life in general. Now, not something that I'm short on. People say this to me often, you're very self-confident in this guy. And obviously that's a good thing. Um, and I would agree, yeah, that I am. I would also say though that for you know a few years ago, I maybe came across so when actually I wasn't. And often, you know, insecurity is um, is masked by by sort of a little bit of uh, bravado or literally a mask. When we see, I see girls in the gym all the time with a full full face of makeup um, on a machine, not doing, not working very hard. Uh, and essentially, you know, as soon as, as soon as I see that, anyway, I know they're 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 a bit they're they're not they're a bit underconfident. They uh, they want they don't want to look they don't want to they they think people are watching them, so they kind of be almost as still as possible on the on the exercise bike. Okay, like makeup's all been done, not breaking a sweat, not doing anything that anyone would even think to look at. But like I say, ironically, I will look at that and go and and think this is what are you doing? You're wasting your time here. One. But I'll also think, you know, I'll look at a person and think, there's someone who's a little bit bit insecure. Uh, they're not willing to come here with their normal face. They're not willing to actually do what they need to do in here. And it's sad, really. Um, now, what, one thing is, and it applies to guys as well. I just see probably more so with females. Well, I get both in that they're just... They're not. It's obviously gym is an odd setting. It's not like anything else in everyday life. So if you join the gym, you come there, and you're a little bit, you don't know, you know, you're a bit overawed by the place. Then doing things that you need to do sometimes just doesn't. It doesn't happen, you know, because you feel the things that the list of things is people think that people are watching them when then absolutely not. People think if they do something that they don't know how to do, they're going to look silly. And again, it's people watching them, which they're not. Uh, and people don't want to sort of make an effort, uh, get a bit of a sweat on, um, because, they, again, they think people are going to watch them. And the fact that people are going to see them doing something that they're not 100% confident in, that's, that's, that's that seems to be where the issue lies. Now, I've got a little model here. So... Let's firstly let's look at the. I'll move this down a little bit. Let's look at the bottom one first, right? Bottom face. Where are we going this way? But effectively, this is so. This may be your comfort zone. Just this little black dot here. That's what you're happy to do in the gym. This again can be transferred to anything, but in the gym, that's what you're happy doing. That's the treadmill and the bike, and that's it, right? Now, what you want though. What you say you want to, you know, you go on a holiday and I, I want to lose some weight and turn up, and that's the usual things I get. The best things you need to do is some resistance and possibly some free resistance or maybe some sprinting. And all these things, though, are that are here. They're outside your comfort zone. Now, you're not going to do them. You're not going to do them because you're not willing to go out your comfort zone. But guess what? You have to if you're going to get to where you want to be. Now, if you just do them, if you do them, it's, it sounds stupid, but the easiest way to get out your comfort zone is to just do it and then it becomes your comfort zone okay so you know the first time we do anything we're not in our comfort zone are we you know the first time i ever did a back squat i, I wouldn't I, I would have been all over the place with unconscious people saying what i'm doing i was doing it wrong or uh, i was on my comfort zone i'm you know back squat in my sleep now just because i've done it though i've spoken to people who know how to do it yes i've learned how to do it and so it's become my comfort zone, but that's, that's it, you see. Repetition, learn and repeat, and it becomes within your new comfort zone. That's it. You do it. You've got to do it. That's all you've got to do. Now, if that needs you to get a personal trainer, or that needs you to just ask someone who knows what they're doing, or, you know, learn how to do it. Repeat, repeat, repeat. It'll become something you're confident at. You one once upon a time you didn't know how to walk, okay? You just you've got to do it. You've really got to do it. And if that needs help from someone, that's fine. That is absolutely fine. And that is you know, in terms of working at a commercial gym, that's half of someone like my job. But 
you've, honestly, you, you, you've got to do it. And that, but then that has effects beyond just achieving what you want in the gym. If you do something that you've not done before, you're expanding your comfort zone. The bigger that comfort zone is, the more possibilities in life of things that you can do. But you've just got to be willing to take that little leap, just a little leap of faith into doing something that you're not used to doing. But then after a few times, you are used to it. And that's great. That, that, that's how we progress. That's how we expand what we do and how we get better. Now, I want to just touch on this part as well. The thing I've written on the top of the, of the whiteboard there. In that, here's where we are now and here's where we want to be. Okay? And is this, is this the be all and end all? I want to lose a stone. So, when I lose a stone, I will be happy. Is that true? Absolutely not. Of course it's not. Of course it's not. This is like, you know, where we are now. This is the day you die. Is this going to, is, the, is this, this is what's going to make you happy? Of course it's not. It's all, all it's about is this. That's all it's about. You've got to enjoy the process of doing it. Now, on, we take the, the less extreme example of achieving a goal, then this, of course, you will get some satisfaction out of it. But as soon as that's sunk in, it might last a day, it might last a week, it might last a month. You know, you're really proud of yourself. But then, if it's not going to last forever, and you're going to need someone else. You know, Olympic athletes, they're well known for suffering from depression post-Olympics because it's all a build-up for you, it's for you, build a build-up. Well, I want a gold medal, but then, then what? Then what? what you, your life is... So you, this, the important part is this, the journey. And guess what? Beginning new things, doing something you've not done before, that's this. Doing the new things you've not done before is this. This gets you to this, but this never ends. This never ends. So constantly learning, constantly learning, constantly learning, expand your comfort zone, expand your possibilities, and drawing it right back into what we talked about to start with, expands your self-confidence. The more things that you're, you know how to do, the more that you can do, the more self-confident you will be. As I said, if you need to get someone to help you, then that's fine. You know, I've done it. Of course I've done it. If there's something I don't know, I will either read about it, I'll speak to someone I do know who, who knows how to do it, and then I will just start to apply it. And that is, that is the only way to do it. Okay? I hope that's been helpful. Please visit chrisbellpt.com, Chris Bell Personal Trainer on Facebook. Any questions about this, like it, share it, comment, let me know. Thanks a lot and I'll see you soon.